Welcome to Graph Expo 2011. As we should say, it's virtual graph. We wish you could be here in person, but this is the next best thing. I'm John Allman with Global Experiential Marketing. And I'm Tracy Alensis with Graphic Communications Marketing, and we're really glad you could join us for Virtual Graph Expo. We have a lot in store for you, so come on and join us. All right, thanks for coming up. We're here at the Xerox booth. Our theme this year for Graph 2011 is very simple. With everything happening out in the marketplace, in the economy, we know it's tougher than ever to really focus on your business and take your business to where you want to go. So our theme is helping you focus on what matters most, and that's what we're talking about at Graph 2011. So what does that mean to print service providers? Well, it's all about helping them delight their customers, reduce their costs, produce more jobs, and grow their business. So it's all about finding ways to help them focus on those four key business objectives to really take their business to new heights. So here we are at the 550-560, and as you remember from the announcements, we've added additional finishing onto this product. We're showcasing here at the show the GVC Punch, as well as the Square Fold Booklet Maker Trimmer. Everyone's been very excited about that. Some of the applications we're showcasing are polyester, printing on polyester. Because of the polyester elements inside of our EA Dry Ink, it fuses very well with this polyester substrate, so that works very nicely. The 2400 by 2400 blends very smoothly, so you don't get a lot of cracking and peeling on the edges, so this is a very nice application. We also have, through Light Rod, a lot of security features that are being showcased here, including a micro text, including UR codes, including a black light color shift, this is a, a pretty cool application. These are parking tags. Now you also recall the 550-560 is now rated for coated stock. So we're showing a label stock that we're running through the machine for wine labels, for menus. This can be uh, opaque. It can be translucent. This is a nice application. Now, if you just sold a customer 550, 560, how do you get them upgraded? Well, October 1st, you'll have that capability. Just needs a software upgrade. The, uh, all the hardware features have already been put included in the machine for the last several months. Okay, so now we're over here at the 770. That's the new 770, uh, which, again, as Ralph mentioned with the uh, upgrades to the 550 and 560, uh, will be available. Uh, we'll be starting to order take on the 770 in October. So what are the new feature set of the 770 that really makes it stand out from the crowd? You're talking about 300 GSM, up to 300 GSM auto duplex, and of course that's coded and uncoded, but the real significant difference is the fact that that's all weights mode. So we're going to be running that 70 pages a minute at 300 GSM full speed. So that's some pretty fantastic news, but even greater news is the fact that we've added the new inline spectrophotometer and ACQS to the 770. So it's pretty exciting stuff. We're going to look in here. You can see down in here we have the inline spectrophotometer system right down inside the, the area where we had the interface module. Now of course that means the interface module is required with the 770 and that would be because you can only get a 770 with a high capacity stacker and a, or a um, uh, a Light Pro C uh, booklet finisher. Now that booklet finisher is available with the square fold as usual. So it's either one of those two accessories or both as you see them here uh, displayed at the show. And then of course uh, we have the usual two trays uh, or single tray oversized high capacity stack uh, feeders available as well and we always recommend that the 300 GSM stock be fed out of those feeders. Uh, finally uh, as far as DFE goes on the new 770 we're offering two DFEs now. This is the free flow of uh, print server and the EFI new System 10 Windows 7 X64 based uh, uh, DFE and that DFE is the only uh, only available from Xerox for about the next six months so that's a fantastic competitive advantage uh, for you on the 770. Just a final note this product again October 1st and no bustled DFE on the 770. Okay I'm here with Doug Richards 
and he's going to overview some of the highlights of the Fiery System 10. Now this is going to be a Xerox exclusive for several months, so you make sure you understand the advantages the System 10 offers. Doug? Thank you. So System 10 is our latest and greatest uh, release of Fiery System software. It's going to be initially released on the uh, 700i as well as the 770. We're also going to see it very shortly on the 800-1000 uh, as, uh, as an upgrade and then also for new systems going out in the field. Uh, System 10 is one of our largest releases ever. It touches everything about the Fiery. So everything from variable data printing to usability to our impose compost features, everything about the Fiery has been touched and made easier for the end user and more productive. Some of those enhancements include such things as uh, better integration with our profiler suite. We have better integration to various uh, MIS systems. We have uh, new, new ways to do imposition. We also have things for uh, if you want to go in and do some troubleshooting, we have new tools there, uh, new color features, uh, new variable data features that cover such things as something called Freeform Enhanced. So you can actually go in and have uh, different pages for your masters, different pages for your variable, and mix them together and some really neat things. Uh, you'll be seeing a great calendar demo coming out very shortly where you can take a set of JPEG images, drop them into a folder, and have a calendar. So it's a great new release. We're looking forward to some uh, upcoming training for you. And that's uh, System 10 in a nutshell on, uh, on the new Fireys. Thanks a lot. Okay, so now we've moved over to the new uh 1000 color press and actually obviously all of you have seen this color press before you're selling the heck out of it and we really appreciate that uh, but we want to point out some of the new features of the uh, 1000 now the big uh, announcement here at the show was the addition of the full width array scanner uh, on the 770 now that device is again right in here uh, inside uh, the covers now uh, we were all in Leesburg getting trained we had the, some of the covers off in here, and we were looking at this big blank space in the machine going, hey, that's a great place for an inline spectral photometer. Well, they did an even better job, and they stuck a full-width array scanner. So that full-width array scanner gives the, m even more capability than ever before to provide consistent accurate color for the customer. Okay, so not only does it offer ACQS, which is your auto color calibration and your auto profile, but it also offers the auto image quality controls. Okay, so now the full width array scanner is looking at every sheet that goes through the machine and it is scanning that sheet and feeding information back to the controller to make sure the color quality and consistency is there. Plus, this also has the ability to profile your papers for skew and perpendicularity. That means that the customer can, if they have odd sized papers or they have paper that might have a little skew or they've cut it, they can actually profile that paper with the scanner and have that feed automatically back to the, uh, to the print controller to make sure that paper does not skew. Okay, and that is going to give us a really, really tight registration. And they're telling us here that they can get front to back registration almost right on top of one another. So fantastic new feature. Now let's scan over here a little bit to the brand new Perfect Binder. Now this Perfect Binder has been available on the market for other vendors, but Xerox took this Perfect Binder and added new feature set to it. Now this is a pretty unusual new feature set that nobody else has uh, on this Perfect Binder. So we have added not only the ability to perfect bind uh, about a 400 page book uh, with uh, auto covers that can be fed through, either through, that fed through the printer, okay, but you can also do perfect bound jobs offline or manually. So now you could feed the, the, the paper into the high capacity stacker, do the jobs, create your book blocks, which you see up here on the top of the printer, okay, then all you do is you put them inside the, uh, the perfect binder, load them in one at a time, close the cover, push the button over here, which is down right here, and the perfect binder will pull a cover in from the top tray and bind it, all right? So that means 
In the meantime, you can be printing other jobs while you're running the Perfect Binder. So that's pretty much all the big news here at the show on the 1000. Okay, we're still over here at the uh, 1000 Color Press with a brand new Plockmatic booklet maker uh, that is available here uh, for this uh, product as well. And I'm here with Art Nesbeth, and Art works down at the, uh, the KSC in Washington, and a fantastic job he does down there. So, Art, tell us a little bit about this new... Uh, per uh, <laughs> this is a new Plockmatic RCT30. What it does is it allows you to do creasing, top and bottom trim, and also sheet rotation. So for the 1000, it now allows us to run at a higher speed on 8.5 by 11 in particular because we're able to run log inch feed, rotate, and then run into the Plockmatic booklet maker. This also, by giving you the ability to do creasing, cuts down on cracking on paper. So that was a big issue for customers. Now they have an option to use this one as well as change to the three-sided trim on the end. So this creates a top and bottom trim, creasing, runs into the next module, does the stapling and folding, and the last module does trimming on the edge. Well, thank you, Art. Hi, uh, the next exciting product we have to show you is the World's Forced Waterless Inkjet, the Cypress 500 from Xerox. We're showing it here at the show. It's a pretty big machine, and I got to tell you, it's been crowded every day this week, so it's a big, big hit. I'm here with uh, Anand, who's, uh, where are you from? I'm from uh, Webster, New York, Rochester, Webster, New York. Webster, New York, okay. Tell us about this product. Why would customers be excited about this? Well, it's, it's absolutely unique. We have a lot of aqueous devices in the market, but this is the first waterless device, and there are lots of advantages when there's no water in the ink, because as you probably know, ink and wa ink pa water and paper don't get along really well. So when you put the water in there, you have to remove the water from the paper. In addition to that, there are lots of uh, advantages when, when there is no water that goes into the paper because you introduce curl and cockle when, when you're putting water into the paper. And there are problems with print, the print heads clogging when you have evaporation. And with, with this technology, you can print on low quality, even offset, recycled paper and, and, and very thin media because it doesn't sink into the paper like water does. And you so you know what the uh, ranges are on the paper stock? The paper stock ranges is, right now the spec is 50 GSM to 160 GSM. And, and the other good thing is you, you can use recycled paper and the output is also recyclable. So it's a green machine in addition to all the other advantages. Of okay, you have us uh, samples to show you how it works on the different substrates? Absolutely, we have offset uh, substrates here. We have very light uh, 44 GSM paper and, and the show through is, I mean, very, very good. So you can print, print, print on, on, on both sides very easily and uh, even on lightweight paper. So it saves on your mailing costs if, if, uh, if for direct mail applications, if you want a lighter weight paper and, and insert, insert more sheets into your envelope. We also have uh, heavier weight paper going on in this watch book. It goes up to 148 GSM, which is like a thicker type paper. Okay, that looks pretty good. What kind of DPI are you laying down? On, on this device, we're running at 500 feet per minute. We're going 600 by 400 DPI. In the future, we'll be coming out with higher resolution uh, uh, output. Okay, now 500 feet a minute means how many 8.5 by 11s per minute? In a twin engine system, you're talking about over 2,000 images, 8.5 by 11 images per minute. Okay. 2180 images to be precise. Okay, I can round that up to 2200. <laughs> 2200 pages a minute, full color, and the cost per page at, uh, at the optimum volume? The, the, the cost per page is very competitive when you compare the, uh, the cost with the aqueous devices in the market, but a very important aspect to look at when you look at the total cost is your paper cost. When you look at aqueous devices, they need treated paper, so the treated paper, you pay a premium of 40 to sometimes 200%. And so, when you look at the total cost of operation, we will probably be the lowest cost of operation. That's terrific. Great news from Graph Expo. Thank you. Okay, I'm here at the New Vera, and we've got some exciting new inline finishing that you need to be aware of. I've got Henry here. Henry, why don't you tell us about it? Thank you. We're introducing at this show a new device from our partner, CP Borg, 
the Borg sheet feeder. This unique feeder has a bypass in it so that it can be connected to an iGen or a Nuvera uh, and process sheets to a finishing piece of gear or it can be run in an offline mode with a top tray or a pile tray and uh, feed the job into the finishing. This allows you to have one finishing line supported by multiple machines. The main part of this design from CP Borg is the cart that's inside. This is the same stacking cart that you will find in all our finishing lines. So whether it's a Nuvera, an iGen, a 1000, a Docu Color Series products, all carts have an ability to be adapted to take that full stack and roll right into the pile feeder. It's as, almost as easy as that. At the same time, Borg has introduced an upgraded BDFX, which this is a version that's the BDF-EX. ES means it has enhanced capabilities for JDF and other workflow options. So uh, if we've ta have you talked about the automated inline finishing solution yet? That would be tied to this product. Okay? The key to this is the change on the display. It's a common display that Borg is using throughout their products now uh, that automatically configures and sets up. This uh, unique GUI is, is really more customer driven, friendly, uh, easy to set up and run. So from here I can run it with the Borg sheet feeder or I can switch the job over and run it directly from the Nuvera. Thank you. Okay, remember that Borg system was something that Jerry Sternick talked about during our May training. Very exciting that you can have a color and mono workflow now. Output from your iGen, walk it over to that Borg, input it into the system and have it finished. So exciting developments. The other exciting development Jerry talked about was the Rolum, which is a jet slit system that we're going to show you here in just a moment. But let's also talk to Scott and hear what's new and exciting about iGen here at Graph Expo. Hi, Ralph. Um, well, first and foremost is that we have now a 26-inch sheet, uh, new sheet size. Been around for a little bit, but it's a big hit here at Graph Expo. And we also have matte dry ink. So combine those two things and place them on a, uh, a pearlescent sheet, which is really uh, a rave today. It's, it's a real big hit. So those are, those are a couple of the new things along with iGen 4, but also the Rollum as you just mentioned. Okay, well let's see that run. All right, let's do it. All right, very cool. It's doing a perf, it's doing slits, it's trimming. And this is what our output looks like. We've got a nice crease with a tear off perf. All taking advantage of the 26 inch power from Xerox. The Canon booth. The Canon is introducing the 7010 VPS. VP is just like it did last year. S is sync with Osei's Prisma system. 7010 still 70 pages a minute. It's uh, pulperized inks and still has the problem with the dual fusers with the gloss differentials. So that's kind of it from Canon, nothing new. Well, I'm standing here by the Konica Minolta booth and they are highlighting their C8000. Uh, nothing new there, you've already been trained on that product. They also have the 6000 and the 7000, which as you know slow down. The 7070 is going to be very successful against that product. The other thing to keep in mind is the 70HC, very similar to the 650 HC's different toner formulation to put a little bit better photograph down, but uh, nothing really new from Konica Minolta. Uh, I think this is going to be an exciting time to be working for Xerox. Okay, I'm standing here by the Rico booth. Uh, not nearly as crowded as the Xerox booth this week. The product that's of the most interest to us though is the 751, which is behind me. It's 75 pages a minute, but it does slow down when you run heavier weight stocks. It can auto duplex up to 300 GSM. Boy, what great time to introduce the 700i and the 770. We're going to do very well against this product. 
I enjoy spending time with you guys whenever I get the chance. And one of the things when I was asked, what can I share with you about the booth and about the show in general, it's going back a few years. If you remember the new business of printing value propositions, the right business model, the right workflow, the right technology, there are three really good themes, but the entire booth here is laid out in a different way. And the way that they laid it out was they asked a simple question to their customers, your customers, your prospects. What's on your mind? Think about it. That, that's the classic, you know, what's your pain point, but it's a little more on a positive spin. What's on your mind? And starting last year at Graph Expo, but really driving forward this year, were four major themes that were rising up as potential talking points. So when these guys asked me, what, what's something of value that I could share with you? All I would, I, I'd kind of ask you, I'd almost beg you to pay attention to the, what, what's about to follow and find your own version of it. So with inside the booth, the four major themes are laid out by these posters that are here and it starts off with kind of the, the classic simple, produce more jobs through the shop. Producing more jobs, being able to schedule them, being able to estimate them, being able to predict when I've got open time. Another theme that's here is reduce costs. Look, I, I'm all for reducing costs, but you cannot reduce costs to sustain profitability. You know that, I know that, we've talked about it before. Cost reduction could get you in the door. It can get you in the door in office and get you in the door in production too. But the idea of getting more jobs through the shop and reducing them costs, it's a start, it's a potential start. But over on the far side, over here, we've got delighting your customers. In fact, I don't wanna do that one yet. Come back a second. The other one I want you to see is grow your business. So if it's not reduce your cost, it could be grow your business. I'll give you an example. One way to get you open the door, if you're a potential customer, would be, um, I've got some ideas to help you save cost. It's a potential. But what about if you approach them with, my name's Peter, uh, I work for Xerox, and I've taken a little bit of time to do the best I can to understand your business. And I've got a couple ideas to help you grow your business beyond cost savings alone. And one of the major themes is grow your business. What are some of the things that you could come up with beyond cost savings, we covered that, to help them grow your business. And the fourth one kind of plays along with that. Delighting your customers. Delighting your customers, what, what does that mean? Look, I, I, we could, you've seen the Cypress 500, all the way down to the, you've seen the 700 and the newer, newer flavored of it, the 770. Um, I'm trying to keep up on my product. But at the end of the day, this question, what's on your mind, is kind of a more positive spin on the old, what's your problem? If we've never met before, you know I'm not gonna to be too open to say, what's my problem? But if you came to me with some of these themes that could get me to feel a little more comfortable with who you are and a little bit more of why I might wanna to listen to you, it leads into the potential relationship that you can have for new customers and it also leads deeper to the relationship that you can have with existing customers. That gets to then the product. I mean, I, I haven't mentioned product. You know me. I, I'm not the product leading guy. I've got the pocket protector to, to prove I can run it. But when it gets down to it, is you guys have this incredible technology. And you know what happens? Today, it sits idle too often. Not because it's broken, but because your customers aren't out there selling what it's capable of doing. And I don't mean speeds and feeds. I mean killer apps that drive business, that delight customers, that help your customers grow their business, helps them to get more jobs through the shop, and reduce costs. I appreciate you listening in, and feel free to drop a line anytime I can help you out. Thanks.